Okay, my name's Kyle with Fast Rooter Company. We're here working for CBRE Facility Source at the Dollar Tree in Middle River, Maryland. We're working from a clean out in their warehouse. Uh, the sewer line has a clean out here, and it looks like a saw cut through the floor that way, and the bathrooms go back that way. So we're going to start down the sewer clean out. As you can see, this is a new PVC clean out. The line was really packed right here, and you can see it looks like rust at the bottom of this PVC and scale. And then here you can see a transition to the cast iron pipe. And the bottom of the pipe appears to be holding a lot of scale, rust deposits. And this is the area that was clogged today. Uh, my name's Kyle and this is my first visit to this store. Uh, I was told that this store has been having repeat backups. Um, so this is our first time through with the camera to take a look. Each connection with a cast iron looks like somebody, the one technique they would use is fold duct tape in half and push the joints together. That's what it looks like there. And when you see that connection, looks like old duct tape. That's uh, uh, an old timer's trick to shove hub sewer pipe together. And here's a branch line, must pick up a drain from another part of the building. There you can see uh, two more inlets here coming into the line. I, I don't know what they're feeding. This, this store only has, there's another inlet. This store only has two restrooms, two lavatories, sinks, and a mop sink the only fixtures we've seen. And we're in 34 feet. We must be in the exterior of the building. It appears we're at a transition. And that's terracotta pipe, terracotta clay pipe. And it looks like it's dropping into the main sewer service at 38.2 feet. The terracotta clay is in awesome shape. No problems whatsoever. And then back to cast iron that's very corroded. Uh, my opinion from just looking at this briefly is that there's companies that reline pipes and they could they most likely could reline this from this clean out access in the warehouse. And the, the rust and corrosion is just uh, what I would consider would promote a lot of clogging. I see no major, major defect except for this corrosion, as you can see right here. That's probably stopping the paper. And promoting clogging through the line.
that's what flew around it did. That's deep down in there. This section of the pipe, we're not 100% sure, but if you look close at the bottom of the line, it almost looks like the cast iron. You know, and I'm saying there's probably a 50-50 shot that because the water wearing the pipe away there, there might not even be any pipe on the bottom. It might just be dirt there. That, that cast iron looks really worn to me. And then as you see, here's probably parts of the pipe that are piling up just five feet down the line from here. And this is the... place that it was clogged today so to me I think the bottom of that cast iron is, is wore out and I'm just gonna hold up here because people are moving some things and the Hydro jetting or whatever in the past may have pulled the rotted away cast iron into a pile here. My recommendation is to we're going to make a link for our YouTube of this video. And my recommendation is for Dollar Tree Company to turn it over to the landlord uh, for their opinion and to see if they will renew this pipe and um, see if they'll take it from there. This is Kyle Migas, 215-479-5001 working for CBRE Facility Source. Have a good day.